Former U.S. First Lady Rosalind Carter, who President Jimmy Carter called an extension of myself owing to her prominent role in his administration even as she tirelessly promoted the cause of mental health, died on November 19 at age 96, the Carter Center said. Carter died peacefully with her family by her side, a statement said, First Lady Jill Biden asked to keep the Carter family in prayers during a Thanksgiving dinner with servicemen in Norfolk, Virginia. President Biden said he hoped the family were together. In the holidays, uh, you'll consider saying you include the Carter family in your prayers. You will always keep us connected in your most holy and eternal spirit. Your thoughts on the fir former First Lady? The day she was put in hospice, I was on the phone with the family. And I was speaking to her grandson and uh, family just showing up. You know, they're really an incredible family because they brought so much grace to the office. And, you know, it's one thing if you're one of being president and you're, you're putting on the show while you're president. Look what kind of post president he was. He did the same thing for people after he was president when he was retired. Not for money, for just help. He was an incredible guy. And I, he still is there. I haven't. I talked to the family today. It's not the family. The family spoke to me today, and uh, I was told that all the family, all the children and grandchildren, are with Jimmy Carter. And uh, I always joke that he always would say to me, "You're the first person ever. Knew. I endorsed you. I'm the first person to endorse you." You're assembly in the grand. But he had just great integrity. He still does, and she did too. Imagine, they were together at 77 years. Anyway, I, I hope they're all satisfied, they were happy with the family, and I thought that they were together.